OpenCV is an open source library consisting of hundreds of computer vision algorithms. While the library was mainly developed in C and C++, it can be used in other languages such as Java, JavaScript, R, and of course Python. OpenCV Python is a collection of Python bindings which allow data scientists and engineers to use OpenCV using a Python interface. The core operations module contains the basic building blocks of OpenCV such as data structures and procedures specific to computer vision applications such as pixel editing, geometric transformations, and code optimization. The core functionality includes reading and editing individual pixels or regions of interest within images, splitting and merging channels, padding images, math operations on images such as addition, blending operations, or bitwise operations, and last but not least, functionality to measure performance and optimize OpenCV code. Image processing with OpenCV can be used to change the color space of an image, for example, from blue, green, red, to grayscale or HSV, hue, saturation, value color model and to track a colored object in an image or in a video. To perform geometric transformations on images such as scaling, translation, rotation, a fine transformation and perspective transformation. Convert images to binary images using image thresholding. To smoothen, blur and filter images. To apply morphological transformations on the shapes of images like erosion, dilatation, opening, closing morphological gradient, top hat or black hat, to find image gradients using Sobel and Laplacian derivatives, to perform edge detection using the Canny edge detection algorithm, to create image pyramids on multiple levels as well as using pyramids for image blending, to be able to find and draw contours, to be able to find image histograms, to plot image histograms as well as to analyze image histograms, to use the Fourier transform of an image in order to perform edge detection, to be able to use the template matching method to detect either one or multiple matching objects in an image, to use the whole line transform in order to detect lines in an image, or the whole circle transform to detect circles in an image, using the watershed algorithm in order to segment images, using the grab cut algorithm to extract the foreground of an image. Feature detection functionalities in OpenCV help us to better understand the features of a given image, to use the Harris corner detection algorithm to detect corners in images, or the Shai Tomasi corner detector for tracking corners, as well as Lowe's scale invariant feature transform detector for corners in images with changing scales, as well as its faster alternatives, the speeded up robust features detector, the fast detector for real-time applications, the brief detector outputting binary descriptors, the free and unpatented ORB detector. The feature detection module in OpenCV also has functionality to match features across different images. Video analysis in OpenCV includes techniques such as min shift, cam shift, and optical flow. Min shift finds the area of maximum pixel density in an Image by placing a window at a random position over an image and then shifting the window during repeated iterations until it converges to the area of maximum density. Min shift uses a fixed size window regardless of image, which can be an issue for some applications. Cam shift relies on applying min shift first, then it fits a scaled rotated ellipse to the detected area, after which min shift is run again using the new ellipse window. Optical flow is the pattern of apparent motion of image objects between the consecutive frames of a video and can be detected using the Lucas Canade method implemented in OpenCV. Camera calibration and 3D reconstruction can be performed as well in OpenCV. OpenCV helps you identify distortions caused by cameras in images such as radial distortions when straight lines appear curved or tangential distortion when some areas of the image look nearer than expected. OpenCV can help to detect the object or image corner points and use them as input for the camera calibration procedure to undistort the original image. Finally, OpenCV can also also help to estimate the reprojection error after calibration. OpenCV can be used for pose estimation to understand how an object is situated in space and once that is achieved we can render 3D objects within the image itself. OpenCV can also estimate depth within images using epipolar geometry as well as stereo images. Machine learning in OpenCV is implemented using several models such as k-nearest neighbors and support vector machines for classification and handwritten data extraction as well as k-means clustering for applications such as color quantization, that is reducing the number of colors in an image. In computational photography techniques in OpenCV include image denoising to remove noise using non-local means denoising, image in painting to restore old degraded images affected by black spots and strokes, and lastly to generate and display high dynamic range images or HDR images from multiple exposed images and use the exposure field.
fusion technique to merge our exposure sequence. Object detection is one of the main applications of computer vision and it's implemented in OpenCV using the Cascade classifier. OpenCV provides the Cascade classifiers using the HAR feature-based object detection, which can detect eyes, faces, or other objects in images or in video streams. OpenCV bindings allow data scientists to leverage and extend the OpenCV C++ modules with Python. If you want me to make more advanced videos on OpenCV, please leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with my future videos.